Well, hi, thanks for talking to me today. I appreciate it. I, I watched all six episodes in the last couple of days. I, I really enjoyed it. So um, can you start by talking about sort of how you became involved and were you at all familiar with the books? We'll go Graham, then Chris. Okay. Um, well, first of all, I got to say that's probably the coolest background I've, I've seen uh, <laughs> ever. Yeah. Um, so I got involved pretty late, you know, much, much later than Chris did. Um, you know, Robert Redford had optioned the books in 86 and Chris had done a couple of movies for PBS kind of based around the novels. Um, but it, nothing had been done for about 20 years. And then I came on in February of 2019 and I hadn't read any of the books prior to, to my agent sending me Listening Woman. Um, so that was my first introduction to it. And then I was completely taken not only with the idea of doing a project that um, was native centric and wasn't, there was no white character bringing you into the native world, but it was, it started through the native characters POV and then you experienced the world to their point of view. Um, and his writing was so immersive. The sense of place that you got from his writing um, was really, gave me a great, as a, as a writer and trying to adapt, it gave me a great place to start from because there was so much there. His books were so rich with detail. There was so much there for me to draw from. Yeah. What about you, Chris? Well, I do have to um, agree with Graham that your background is marvelous. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I got involved uh, with the series in uh, about 2000 after I'd done my first movie, Smoke Signals, um, in which uh, uh, Bob Redford um, sent me a, a script uh, based on the Tony Hillerman novels. And um, I'd known him from the Sundance Labs and we started to discuss. And as Graham said, we were able to make two of them. I was able to make two of those for PBS 20 years ago, but um, he had optioned the material and made a, um, a movie called Dark Winds with um, Lou Diamond Phillips in 1989, I believe, and optioned the books in 86. So we all came into it, um, you know, with with high hopes over the years. And I think this is the first time that it feels like it's it's crystallized into something appropriate to the time and the place. You know, Graham's pilot script was was amazing and it spoke to just the um, contradictions and the beauty of the story and the characters. Um, so what was sort of, and, and obviously if you've you worked on it before for you, Chris, I'm sure it was easier for you, but what was sort of kind of the hardest thing, I guess, about adapting it and bringing it from book to television, both in a writing and a directing perspective? From a writing perspective, um, like I said, there was a lot of rich details about the world and the culture, but even, even given that, it required much more research than I'd ever done for anything else. So Chris and I took a trip to the Navajo reservation. That was first and foremost, before I ever, ever even wrote an outline. That was the very first thing we did. Um, obviously getting myself acquainted with the Hillerman books, but also doing supplemental reading um, just on the culture and, um, and life on the reservation, doing ride-alongs with tribal police officers on the reservation, seeing what it's like to be out there in the middle of nowhere, all by yourself, responding to a, you know, what could be an innocuous call or what could be, you know, um, a life-threatening call. Right. Chris, what did you still have? Was, was there anything that was still difficult for you this time, I guess? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was, it was difficult um, just because we were, we were trying to really get the subtleties of this, you know, right. Uh -huh. And like I said, the culture of it, right. Um, but, you know, I think with, with Zahn in particular, I mean, his face does so much. Yeah. Like literally you sit there and you look at Zahn and I think I did in my head say, I said, I know that guy. Like he seems familiar to me as a Western. And in this case, an Indian cowboy in a Western. Right. And, and there's something so familiar. So, I mean, you know, I think we put the right elements together and it was difficult, but, you know, along with Graham's script, uh, we just had the right team. Okay. And, and this is sort of about that. And I guess, Graham, this is probably more a question for you, but how do you kind of balance between what you pull, not only from books, but which book, and then what you kind of add creatively 
of your own input? How do you kind of decide that? Well, fortunately, so we, we pulled from the book Listening Woman primarily. That's where the, the narrative is taken from. Jim Chi isn't in that novel. So we took a little bit of People of Darkness and brought that up. Um, and, um, and, you know, I had to go into the Jim Chi books to kind of see how Tony had written him. But for me, Tony had left behind a lot of great, um, what I'll call, call like signposts, like, you know, you know, the plot moves here and then it moves uh -huh. here and you needed to get to here. And we all, and we wanted to end in the same way where the book ended. Um, but for me, what I tried to bring to it, the liberties that I took were really with the characters, um, trying to keep the spirit of each character alive um, in what Tony had done, but adding maybe another layer to them. Um, you know, as you saw, Lee Porn sort of dealing with his own loss as he's uh -huh. investigating the case. That's something that isn't in the novel. Um, and, and she returning to the reservation from a long period of having lived somewhere else um, in California. So those things were things that I brought to it um, in trying to keep the spirit of their dynamic alive, but maybe driving to the places where they end up in the books, but not quite, um, they're not quite there yet. They're not as fully formed maybe as when the books um, began. Um, can you talk, you obviously you talked a bit about Zahn, but can you talk about casting um, just kind of in general, the rest of the cast? Yeah, the casting we did, you know, um, traditionally through two two great casting directors, Renee, Renee Haynes and uh, Jen Schwallenberg. Um, but we really knew immediately that Zahn was the guy and we never, we never searched for, for the leap horn. Um, we just knew that Zahn was the guy we wanted. Um, and I think we were 100% right, 150% right. Um, uh, you know, with Kiowa and Jessica, uh, you know, we were really dead set on both of them as well. And I think they both are incredible. I think they're, you know, going to have great careers. And I think they're hugely watchable. I mean, they're, they're attractive, you know, brown, <laughs> brown, beautiful faces is what I say. Um, and they just kind of melt into the landscape. I mean, they look like they belong there. And uh, so I'm just over the moon about our cast. I mean, uh, Jessica is uh, incredibly tough. You know, she's a chick that you can see on the res and she's not gonna put up with any, you know, BS, but she's also such a dimensional, you know, character with uh, so many so many thoughts and feelings. And same with Kiowa, he has his own backstory that, that Graham invented. and. It's just, I, I'm over the moon about the cast. So, you know. Yeah, the three of them have really good chemistry. Um, so the only other thing I wanna ask, cause I know we're running out of time is, is there a chance for another season? I mean, if there's more books, obviously this could go on. Have you discussed that? We have, we are discussing it as we speak. <laughs> yeah, um, all right. So yeah, there's 18 books plus the seven oh, wow. that Ann Hillerman wrote, right? Seven, seven. So there's seven, 25 yeah. books. Seven. So. After Tony passed away, his daughter Ann Hillerman carried on is carrying on the legacy of the books. Um, so there's 25 books. There's plenty of other stories. Um, so we have an infinite number, or not infinite, but we have a vast number of um, places we could go and stories we could tell for a second season. And we're, right now we're we're kind of we have the luxury of picking through a few things and discussing well what book would be would make for a great second season. Okay, great. Well, I'm looking forward to it and I hope that that happens. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks. Do I get transferred back or do I leave? Oh, I'm going to take you to hospitality. Okay, I'm going to put, put, put you with the cast afterwards. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day, guys. You too. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie.